What's going on guys? Z here doing a quick video on how I'm going to rig my kayak up in 2019. So let's get started. All right, there's going to be a couple things we're going to be doing today. First, we're going to install this new Garmin unit, pick this up. As you've known in my last couple videos, I've been running the Striker 4. Well, now we've got the Garmin Echo Map Plus 63CV. That stands for Clear View. And of course, we're going to be running the Scotty Mount. Got to reinstall this. Actually, I gave my other one to my dad. So I'm going to put this one on this kayak. He's got the other one on his kayak. Running my old Striker 4. So it's going to be a good setup. We're going to have two good kayaks to bring out at any point in time and find and catch a lot of fish with. So we're gonna kind of do a time lapse probably of me working on my kayak and I'll show kind of how I install my deucer on this and how I set up my battery box and everything with that. So let's get started. All right, let's see what we need for today's projects. First, we need our Scotty mount. That's gonna be connecting our transducer to our boat and it's gonna be easy, detach and attach. Next, we're gonna need our 12 volt battery. I've got a nine amp hour, so hopefully that should run all day for me nine amp hour it's probably running a little less than an amp per hour so we could probably get probably 10 hours off that at least need zip ties these help just attach everything make sure i usually use them to make sure my wires are snug around here don't want any loose wires um just kind of keeps everything neat and tidy that's one important thing when you're running electricity and whatnot you want things neat tidy organized couple terminals to connect my wires for my Garmin straight to my battery and then I've got my battery box this is just an empty ammo can I'm using a ammo can that holds 50 round let's see here so we don't need that I'm gonna come in here what I did last year I made one of these for my dad I'll kind of show you I'm gonna Dremel out the inside just because the battery doesn't fit in there perfectly right now so I'm gonna Dremel these out and then I'll be able to drop that battery right in, drill a hole in the top, and we'll be able to run the wire out. So we don't need that tag on there. We also need a screwdriver today, Phillips and flathead, and a pocket knife for opening packages. Our, bat our battery box is going to end up looking like this. Wire coming out the top, easy access for recharging. You can use it ice or open water. Carry it around, it works perfect for... 12 volt battery. All right, let's open up this Garmin and get this attached to the boat. It's probably the easiest part. Garmin makes everything pretty simple, especially because I had my Striker 4 right here last season. I'm just gonna drill it into the C mount, put the 63 CV right here, and it'll work slick as all get out. We have our unit, nice cover on there. I love that, comes with it. We don't need that right away because first we're gonna take our mount, just a simple mount, and we're gonna attach it right here. Let's zoom in and show you guys. Wonderful. As you can see, pre-drilled three holes. What I did, I come in here, lay this right here and put a Sharpie mark just so I know exactly where the holes go. And then I'll be able to drill this bad boy in. So let's get started. Now we're gonna mount our actual head unit to the boat. So first, Loosen these, we're gonna take our mount and hold it out. We know we want it right here, so we're gonna set it there, take a screw, just like this, screw that in. Now we can come in here, Okay, now that we have our unit hooked up, we want to put our transducer on our boat. So I'm going to put my transducer right here. I like to put it on the right side because I'm right-handed. I also like to usually put it away. I usually kind of reach out and do an arm's width from where I'm sitting. Because in case it gets really shallow, I don't want that transducer to hit the bottom or break off. So I want to be able to get that quick detach button and take it off. So that's the reason I put it on the right side about two and a half, three feet and a half from where I sit. That way I can also drop my line straight down and I'll be able to see everything on my screen what I'm doing. So let's mount that transducer mount right here. Let's show you what's in the box. Okay, let's see what comes inside your Scotty mount box. Start it out. Okay, 
directions, all your screws and components there. This is your quick detach piece that's going to be able to go in here. But right now, all we need is this mount to put on our boot. This is the actual arm This slides. And this holds everything in place. All right, guys, one thing to note is that this guy doesn't come with any screws. So I found a couple screws in the garage that I'm going to use. They all sit in there nicely. They're kind of long, but it doesn't matter. There's nothing really under there. They'll hold that nice and tight. Get our drill out. And we're gonna go ahead and it'll say inboard, so we want that on the inside. And we're gonna drop each one down. As we can see in the box, we get all of these items. We want it to look finished product. Here's my other one that I built for my other kayak. We want it to look like this. Here's a transducer, here's a mount on top. So we can use that kind of as a diagram. It comes with directions, but you don't really need directions. Now we're gonna to check to kind of see how this lines up. I'm gonna raise my kayak a little bit so I set it on the steps. This is just gonna click right in. And now we can adjust where we want this exactly. I'm gonna come around the other side here. So I can tighten this up. Once your transducer's on here, I like to take zip ties and run my wire up and just keep kind of keep an eye on everything just to make sure it's nice and snug out of the way. All right, now we're going to prep our battery. We've got our battery here ready to go. And uh, in order to do that, all we're going to do is take the Garmin cord that came out of the box. Here it is, it's all right here. Now they're gonna give you extra wires. This yellow piece is your fuse, you want that, that's on your red. All you're gonna need right now is your red and black. I take these other ones as blue and brown and I'm just going to run some electrical tape and then just put them off over here. So let's do that quick. Okay, now we probably have enough poking out of each end, but I've got these little clips that I'll be able to slide right on the back of my battery terminal, just like you would if you're buying a Vaxilar or whatnot. They work really well. I'm gonna take that, I'm gonna put my wire in, and then I'm just gonna crimp it down. Okay, now that these are attached, we'll be able to run these to our battery terminals. We've got our red and our black. Let's run our red to this side and our black to this side. Now we should be able to plug this in the back of our Garmin unit. I've got a four pin adapter. Garmin does make an eight too, but for the Striker series and this Echo Map that I'm running, it runs a four right here. Let's give her a whirl. We're gonna run our battery to the back. You always wanna make sure you line up your grooves on these Garmin's. Run that there. We can tilt our screen up however much we may. Power. We're live. Hey guys, sorry about the weird lighting. Of course, I forgot to film an outro. So, here we go. Thanks for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I've raked my kayak. Everything from 
the electronics to mounting the transducer to rigging up the battery box. It's all interesting and hopefully it'll help you guys rig up your kayak in the future. This week's seven fish intern of the week is kind of a special one for me. A couple years ago, I worked at a camp and I taught archery and did fishing and all sorts of stuff. Well, one of my kids, Ben, loved, loved, loved to fish. This kid was from Florida, so he got big peacock bass. He got big largemouth. Well, our camp wasn't in Florida, so we would go down after dinner every night and we'd catch bluegill, we'd catch crappie, and it was a fun time. But before I left camp, I gave him a lucky lure that I used to use. It's a, it's a Strike King crank, if I remember right. I, I can't exactly remember which exact one it is. Um, I've got one in my tackle box, but I don't know the color name. That's beside the point. I gave him that lure and I said, hey, this works well in Nebraska. Why don't you give it a try on some of your bass in Florida? Well, Ben did. He caught a very nice largemouth. Check out this fish. We'll throw a picture in somewhere around here. Congrats, Ben, on a nice fish. Keep on after it. Tight lines. To everyone else, thanks so much for watching, and have an awesome week. We'll catch you next week. Thanks.